Before we start, I just want to say that this video is a really big one, even by my standards. I've edited it down as much as I feel appropriate, but it was such a big event that I wanted to try and keep as much of it in the video as possible. So I've decided to break this video up into two parts. Part one is my build up and start of the race with Eric, and then part two is the climb. All I ask is that you don't skip part one or skip to the end of part two, as the build up and the race itself is so good. I want you to watch it all, please. Time now is quarter past six. It is 45 minutes until this epic race up out the Zwift. And I'm doing it, I'm doing it with the one and only Eric Lee from Don't Get Drop Cycling. This is gonna be epic. One, two. Okay, we're recording. This is a very quick update video. Several weeks ago, I made a video titled, Am I a Runner or Am I a Zwifter? This ride answers that question. I'm 100% embracing Zwifting, but I'm also still a runner. Last week, I recorded and uploaded a new Ryan Epic Race announcement video. If I'm gonna keep doing these community races and events, then I need to come up with a better name than Ryan's Epic Races. To be fair, it doesn't sound too bad now that I've said it out loud. I might keep it. Anyway, I announced that I was gonna be racing and more importantly, attempting to break the sub 80 minute barrier up Alpe de Zwift. I'm gonna to attempt to race up Alpe de Zwift and do it in under 80 minutes. My current PB is 85 minutes, just over. And that's not all. I've managed to convince Eric Lee from Don't Get Drop Cycling YouTube channel, I've managed to convince him to pace me up the Alp, screaming at me to ensure that I don't slack off. Okay, right, hang on, let me zoom in a bit. There we go, that's better. So I'm not looking my best, I've just woken up. It's about 7 a.m. on, what day is it? Friday morning. I've just woken up to see that the amount of people that have signed up to my uh, Ryan Condon's PB attempt up the Alp de Zwift next Friday at 7 o'clock UK time has just reached 200. 200 people have signed up to race me up Alp de Zwift. That's mental. I mean, I think that part of it might be the Eric Lee at Don't Get Drop Cycling YouTube channel effect. It's absolutely blown me away. It really has. Um, I never thought in a million years... I'd even reach a hundred people sign up. But yeah, this is gonna be a huge, huge event. <laughs> so many people have signed up. Anyway, I've got a day's work I need to do. I need to get in the shower, I need to get ready. Um, but I just wanted to have a quick reaction because I don't do reaction videos like this. And I just wanted to add how mental it is that so many people want to race me up out to Zwift. What a suffer fest, phenomenal. Cheers guys. Okay, let me, let me just zoom in a bit. Uh, right, okay, good. I have just, let me grab my phone. I've got two things I just wanna quickly say to camera to get an initial reaction for how I'm feeling right this second. So, I have just logged into the Zwift companion app. Um, I've been checking it every day. I'm not gonna make out that I haven't because I'm really looking forward to it. This week's ride is my public um, group race ride. It's a race up out to Zwift where I've invited everyone. I did an announcement video last week, um, yeah. So with a week to go, we had 200 participants. I've just logged in this morning. There's 320 people. A Friday night and people want to ride up out to Zwift. You're crazy. The other thing I wanted to mention, which is why I've got wet hair, I've just got out of the shower, is I've just got off the bike. I've just got off the bike. I've just completed stage three of the Lapit. Is it stage three or stage two? I think it's stage two. Anyway, I've just completed this week's stage, whatever series, Zwift racing series on. I'm not gonna share any more of this race as it will be next week's video. Suffice to say that it's a video you're not gonna wanna miss. If you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe and the bell so YouTube puts that next video and future videos on your screen for you.
However, we don't want to be talking about future videos now. We have a pixelated mountain to climb and hundreds of awesome Zwifters to ride with. Hang on, I can't weigh myself carrying this. The camera. Got it? Okay, so I just weighed myself, just a quick weigh in. It's just gone 6 a.m. Friday morning. I've just got out of the shower and um, just getting ready to go to work before the big race tonight. I've just had a quick weigh in. I've only lost 0 0.1 of a kg uh, since my last weigh in, which was only four days ago, five days ago. I'm not sure how much of a difference that's going to make. I might, I might input it. I mean, look, a loss is a loss. 0 0.1 of a kg off. So I'll put that into the system. The um, Zwift companion app is showing 345 signups. So if only 50% of these people turn up and start the race, that is still a big old race. But yeah, so far 345 people have signed up to race up out to Swift at seven o'clock on a Friday night. Unbelievable. I mean, I know not everyone's gonna be from Europe or UK, um, but uh, yeah, seven o'clock on a Friday night. This is gonna be an epic race. Okay, it, hang on, let me turn my light on. Right, let me just zoom in a bit. Okay, this is the day. This is, oh, I haven't even got a watch on. I'm wearing the old don't get dropped cycling headband and sweat wristband things. I went into five different shops looking for colourful sweatbands. I called into five different workers I spoke to. People don't wear these anymore apparently. They obviously haven't been watching at Don't Get Drop Cycling on YouTube. Welcome to Don't Get Drop Cycling where I am tired of getting dropped. These sweatbands are in homage to Eric. I appreciate him giving up his time. He took the afternoon off work to do this with me. He lives in Canada. So thank you, Eric. I really, really appreciate your help. I really hope you like the sweatbands. I really like them. I might buy some more and start wearing them more often. Do you think I look like an older, larger, less impressive Bjorn Borg? <laughs> Time now is quarter past six. It is 45 minutes until this epic race up out to Zwift. A race that currently has, it doesn't matter how many people have signed up because I don't know how many people are going to enter the pen. It is going to be interesting to see how many people enter the pen, how many people give up <laughs> once they hit the Alp because we've got quite a big lead in with the uh, course we're on. We're doing race to the sky route, um, road to sky route. It depends on how many people will actually give up after they hit the out because they'll think it's a good idea now and then change their mind after corner two, three and four. And then it'll be interesting to see how many actually finish the out because there's a big difference between starting the out and then finishing it depending on uh, the length of time it takes people. Having said all of that, this is an open category race, which means A's, B's, C's and D's are all racing together in Group E. It's a race for me to get to the top of the Alp and smash a PB. And I'm doing it... I'm doing it with the one and only Eric Lee from Don't Get Drop Cycling. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This is going to be epic. Eric, can you hear me? Oh. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I can hear you now. Ah, uh, cool. Did you, did you have your mic on mute? No, I had my son's headphones connected to his iPad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I am. You just, can hear me, all right? I can hear you. Fantastic. I am just getting my uh, camera and everything set up. I've literally just got on the bike. I haven't been on the bike for the last two hours at all. <laughs> have you? Have you been racing? <laughs> no, I've just been riding. Just pace partner. Just getting ready. Just walking around, basically. <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah, it should be good, man. There's like 360 people now. That's crazy. Oh, man. I know. What have we done? We're Madness. Gonna, we're going to break Zwift. <laughs> Just so I've got an idea in my head, a kind of 
what it is that you think we should do. I'm very much in your hands. So obviously I'm quite an opinionated person. I think I know what I'm doing, etc., etc. Reality is yeah. I, I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> but uh, but I'm very much just going to let kind of follow your lead, try and keep up with your expectations as best yeah. I can. Um, I worked out. I was going to write down my corner times, but I didn't. I physically didn't get the time. Nah, to. you know what? We don't have. Nah, don't worry about that. I, I literally. Just, uh, I got. I got home from work fifteen minutes ago. What I have got, which is going to be really good. You're not going to be able to see it, but I've got my ninety day PR ghost. Oh, perfect. Um, so I should. That should give me an indicator. That ninety day yeah. PR ghost was eight. As long as it turns up on screen, and there's no reason it shouldn't, because the last time I rode the Alp was 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 almost exactly a month ago to the day. I did ride the Alp a month ago. I did set a new PR of 85 minutes and 35 seconds. However, what I have forgotten here, whilst talking to Eric, is that this is a race and not a free ride. So my 90-day PR goes will not appear, and I eventually realised that as I crossed the banner to start the climb. Okay. So, um, I, yeah, that 90 day PR ghost is a 85 minute, 35 second time. Perfect. So let's just get in front of it and stay in front of it. I go absolutely mental for the first six or seven corners and then, and then I just die a death. Okay. So then immediately the first thing we, you should not worry about is if you fall behind to not worry about it. Don't let that like get into your head because at the end of the day, if we can just keep the pace going, you should catch back up at some point. Right. That's exactly it. Yeah, yeah. So I just thought so that would be you a know. big thing. I mean, mentally, I would be like, "God damn it!" <laughs> I almost feel like you should turn off the ghost. <laughs> yeah. I, do you know what? But I no, was. Cons- yeah, but I think it'll, it'll be, be really good when you start catching it, though. Yeah, it will be. Now I should have written down my corner times, as when we start the climb, as it's a race, I do not have a timer either. So no 90 day PR ghost, no timer, both of which you get in a training run. So I'm flying blind in this race. Luckily, I have Eric to hold my over-enthusiastic hand. Have you joined the pens yet? No, I haven't. So if you, the sooner you join, the sooner you're going to be up front, pretty close to me. It's crazy. I don't even follow half these people that are in here, and I already recognize a lot of the names. <laughs> Heart rate monitor's on. Flux capacitor is fluxing. <laughs> right, controls. I'm going to need steering. So someone gave me a really good tip that apparently... That if you cut the corners? If you cut the corners, you can save 600 meters, apparently. Yeah, I believe that. I always try to cut corners when I'm trying to get back onto the group, and it usually always works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I'm joining. Oh, my God. <laughs> right, I'm in, baby. Nice. Oh, I see ya. I see ya. I am here. Oh, I am here. Right. What are you wearing? I am wearing an orange uh, ride-on Zwift retro T-shirt. Oh, I'm, no cap. Oh. I need to change my bike. Shit. So, frame. I need the Trekamonda, don't I? That's the uh, that's your lightest one, yeah. Yeah. So that's that one, and then wheels is the Millenstein lightweight. Oh, nice. So I got that on my last a uh, c- couple of Alps ago when I did the Four Horsemen. Where is Ryan? Let me send some messages. All right, I'm going to do an intro. So guys, we are in the pen now for this epic Alp de Zwift attempt. I am recording. I've got Eric Lee from Don't Get Drop Cycling on Discord with me. It is just the two of us. Say hi, Eric. Hey, everybody. It's just the two of us in Discord. We've got nobody else. So it is going to be a pure PB attempt here. So the whole point of this race is twofold. Firstly, beat as many people as possible to the top. And in priority number two is to set a new PB. My current PB is 85 minutes and 35 seconds. Now, I know I've got a sub 85. That's not a problem. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to be honest, I probably don't need Eric to get a sub 85. What I do need Eric for is to get a sub 80. On this video, priority is don't get dropped. I was going to do your intro there. Can you do your intro for me? You want me to do it? Yeah, do it. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Don't Get Dropped Cycling, where I am tired of getting dropped. Yeah, baby. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love are, it, love it, love it. Are you recording? Uh, not yet, but I will start shortly. So we get to have your intro twice. Yeah, yeah, I gotta do it one more time. <laughs> are you planning to um, just pace it to the bottom of the hill? Whatever you think, whatever you think is the best tactic. 
at the end of the day, we definitely don't need to be chasing A's and B's. No, no. So we don't need to go after the front people. But I'd say let's uh, we don't need to go full gas, but let's just put a half decent effort to get out of the gate and then just group up and find it. I'm sure a lot of people are going to want to group up again with you anyways. Once we do get grouped up, just try to stay right in the middle. Yeah. Have everyone protect you. You do as little work as you can before you get to the bottom, okay? 100%. And then 100%. once we get there, we just let things fall into place. Communication, I guess, more than anything. I'll be using different camera angles on my end, so I'll try to see where you are all the time. Anyone riding with Ryan group up after we get started. Yeah. Thing is, right, I want people, I want people to race. I don't want it to be... You know. Oh, at the end of the day, you get people that will race, but I think a lot of people want to ride with you. So yeah, 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 yeah. That's gonna be. I think that's gonna really be the part that blows you and I away. And then we're gonna help everyone get PRs that's around us. That's the goal. That that's the goal of today is to get as many PRs as that's we can. The goal. Yeah. yeah, baby. Wait, oh, I didn't change my weight. Oh, damn. Change whatever you gotta change, and then come back in. I'm 96.9. Every little bit counts. You're almost at 95, man. That's crazy, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. 95 is almost Not crazy. E You're putting the work in, right? 95. When I weigh 95, I've lost 95 kg. That that's cool. That's awesome, man. I've lost half my body weight. This has got to be the best comment so far. I can't think of anything much worse than climbing out to Swift with Don't Get Dropped screeching at me for the whole thing on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> the, the internet is crazy, man. I still can't believe people watched me do this. <laughs> my two favourite Zwifternet dads right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. How many YouTubers stream and record in the most streamed Zwift event? I'm just gonna do my intro, Ryan. Oh, hang on. Right. Guys, we get this second time. Here we go. Are you ready for this? Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Don't Get Drop Cycling, where I am tired of getting dropped. I've broken this video up with a larger than normal intro so you can see the build up and parts of the conversation Eric and I were having in advance of this race. I also wanted to try and keep some of the messages we saw in the joining pen before the start of this race. These messages were awesome and I loved reading them all. Um, they were great to read, they really hyped me up. Then we have the ride up the Alp which I've edited down as best I can as best as my over-enthusiastic editing style allows me to, <laughs> I have edited it down to the most entertaining parts. If you fancy seeing the full-on unedited video that includes everything from the intro to the ending, then I have uploaded this video onto my Patreon page. It'll be like watching Godfather 1, 2 and 3 back to back, but better. Please check out my Patreon page. You can currently join on a seven day free trial, so you can check it out. And if you think you see value, then please consider signing up. Patreon support means I can continue to make videos like this one. And the link for that is in the description. So if you consider it, thank you. Tell me what I'm doing. How fast am I coming off this line? Just nothing, not, no red numbers, just nice and easy. No red numbers. I, I, just I've find the... my wheel, just find my wheel. And then uh, once you're on it, let me know. My adrenaline is pumping, man. No that's red good, numbers. That's good. <laughs> yeah, even my heart rate's at 116. Damn, <laughs> this is going to be absolutely bonkers. All right, let's go. 